I'm about to start a battle in the comments, but I want to tell you my solution to the most highly debated problem in probability theory. Sunday night, Sleeping Beauty, with her consent, is put to sleep and has her memory wiped. Then a fair coin is flipped. If the coin comes up heads, Sleeping Beauty will be awoken Monday and the experiment will end. If the coin comes up tails, Sleeping Beauty will still be woken up Monday, but then will be put back to sleep with her memory wiped, woken up again on Tuesday, then the experiment will end. The kicker is, every time Sleeping Beauty is woken up, she's given the details of the experiment and asked the question, what do you believe the probability is the coin came up heads? A simple question with a simple answer. Except it's not. On one hand, it's a fair coin. Before the experiment, if you ask Sleeping Beauty what the probability of a heads would be, she'd say a half. And even though when she's woken up, she's told the details of the experiment, she doesn't know what day it is, and she doesn't know how many times she's been woken up. And so she doesn't really have a reason to change her viewpoint. On the other hand, we have an entire probability theory which we should probably be able to apply here. Sleeping Beauty is rational, and upon waking, she begins to reason to herself. Say the coin landed tails. If the coin landed tails, Beauty would be awoken on Monday and Tuesday, Having her memory wiped would make those events indistinguishable to her. So we should conclude, given that the coin came up tails, the probability that it's Monday should equal the probability that it's Tuesday. After using the definition for conditional probability, we can conclude that the probability the coin landed tails and it's Monday is the same probability as the coin landing tails and it's Tuesday. Beauty continues to rationalize, saying, well, what if it was Monday? Regardless of the coin flip, the day Monday will happen in the experiment, given that this is a fair coin, the probability that it came up heads should be the same probability that it came up tails as long as we're only considering Monday. Again, by the definition of conditional probability, we can say that the probability of landing tails and being Monday is the same as the probability of landing heads and being Monday. We had the probability of the coin landing tails in Monday from our last thinking exercise, so let's use the transitive property to link these three things together. These three events all have equal probabilities, and they're the only events that can happen in this experiment. Since they're all the possibilities, adding up their probabilities must sum to 1 or 100%, and since they're all equal, the probability of each of them happening is one third. Only one of those scenarios had the coin landing heads, and so the probability of the coin landing heads was one third. So which is it? Is the probability of heads one half or one third? And honestly, I have a hard time arguing with the math here. In this situation, it really looks like it should be one third. And I think that's the point in this situation. There are variants on this problem carrying the experiment out over thousands of days, and the longer you make the experiment, the smaller the probability of a coin getting heads. It seems this question isn't really asking what's the probability of a coin landing heads. We can all agree that that's one half if we're thinking of a future coin flip. This question is more like asking what's the probability of getting heads and it's Monday in this experiment you're in right now? Or in other words, which of the three scenarios does Sleeping Beauty believe herself to be in? Answering that question is a lot different from asking the question, what if I flip this coin? At the time of recording this video, I believe the probability of heads is one third according to the situation of the Sleeping Beauty problem. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like to see my attempt at resolving another highly debated topic in math, click the video on the screen right here. I'll see you in that one.